This is code.org, CS Discoveries, or Computer Science Discoveries. We're working on Unit 2, which is web development. And then of Unit 2, we're doing Lesson 6, obviously, which is lists. And we're on Level 2, which is named, well, lists. Let's see what we're working on here. Lists. You can also use HTML to make different types of lists on your web page. This recipe includes two different types of lists. One ordered with numbers, ooh, and that's important, and one unordered with bullet points. So, what they're saying here is an ordered list, well, we'll get to this actually. An ordered list is OL for the tag, and an unordered list is UL for the tag. But anyways, use the inspector tool to see the code that is making the two different kinds of lists. Hmm. So, let's go ahead. Here's our inspector tool. I'm going to click on it, and it should say on and let's see well this looks like a list to me what code's making that hmm well it looks like li tags let's go down here for the numbers this is a numbered list what's why would that be the same though li hmm what's going on here let's see that what are the two types of lists there are two types of ordered and unordered okay unordered list an unordered list element has the tag ul this is an abbreviation for unordered list. <laughs> Each item in the list is marked by a list item. Element li. Ah, ah, and that's an abbreviation for list item. Let's see here. I bet, how do I make an unordered list? Uh, making an unordered list has two steps. Making the list and adding the list items. To make an unordered list, write the unordered list tags ul that's the opening slash ul is the closing next add a list item inside the ordered list tags oh okay that's important now let's go ahead and look what is an ordered list an ordered list has the tags ol and the ending tag slash ol this is an abbreviation for ordered list each item in the list is marked by a list item element, li slash li. Notice, and this is super important, both unordered lists and ordered lists actually have li tags. And that's kind of confusing, but that's because both of them have items in their lists. What makes the list different, which what makes one have bullet points and one have numbers, is this tag, the ol tag or the ul tag. Regardless, though, of what tag your list is started with, OL or UL, each part of your list, each item on your list, each line that you want in the list needs to be surrounded by an LI tag. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go down here and one, light, one cup of light corn syrup. If you look at that, right over here, you can see there's an LI tag and then there's a slash LI. And that makes this appear on one line with a bullet point next to it. Again, look here. One cup of peanut butter, li slash li. Oh, one cup of peanut butter gets its own line with a bullet point next to it. Now, why are these bullet points and not numbers? Well, that's because all of this is surrounded by ul and then at the very bottom here, slash ul. So this means unordered list and then the unordered list ends way down here. So all of this stuff in between well, these are items on the unordered list. Now let's go down to our numbered list. On our numbered list, OL is ordered list, which stands for, uh, which means there are numbers because they're in a particular order. And if you look at one of these items, notice it has a number next to it, LI for list item, it has the sentence, and then it has slash LI. And that appears on its own line. And it does that for all of these. Let's see, enjoy. Look, enjoy has a number next to it and appears on its own line. And look over here, enjoy, li, enjoy, slash, li. And around all of these list items, around all of these each lines of codes, there is ol, and then at the very bottom, the ordered list ends with a slash. So, make, use the inspector tool, what's making the two types of list, that we have covered. Make sure you and your partner agree what the tags do. Fix the code. Ah, fix the code. So what is the problem? Aha. Notice bullet point, 
we're missing a bullet point. Hmm. So let's check out where that might be. If we look over here on our list, everything above and below it has an LNI tag. So I bet this is supposed to be part of the list. And to be part of the list, it needs an LI tag around it. And boom. If yours doesn't update after adding the LI tag, hit refresh and save, and it should. Now this, this one's a bit more tricky. I'm not sure if you read these instructions, place corn syrup and sugar into a three quart saucepan. Cook over medium heat. I think that should be two instructions in most recipes I see. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to close this LI tag and uh-oh, now, and that's why this is pink, the computer is telling us there's a bug here, this is missing an opening tag. Well, it, that's because it's going to go here. It's going to wrap all the way around this new element. So I'm going to turn off inspect now, actually. And it looks like that is a bit better. Milk chocolate chips together, remove from microwave. Um, and depending on what you think, you might even have this on a separate line too. So in my recipe, I will. So I'm going to go ahead and end that LI tag. Notice the pink, the computer saying, hey, there's a problem here. And there is. We need an opening tag and watch. Now, those are numbered right next to and appear in their line. If they don't for you, hit refresh and save. And that should do it for level two. So let's continue onward.